Hi everyone, let's do this question. This is a question which I formed based on questions which are there in the GMAT advanced official uh, question book. Now let's try to read this question together. The table below shows average price per kilogram of rice sold in certain years. If quantity of rice sold in 2002 is 4 by 3 the quantity of rice sold in 2001 and twice the quantity sold in 2000 find the average price per kilogram of rice over the three year period. Pause the video, give it a try and then let's try to do this question together. Alright, we are back. I hope you have given it a try. Now let's try to do this question together. Over here it's mentioned that the quantity of rice sold in 2002 is 4 by 3 the quantity of rice sold in 2001. Now if I take the quantity in 2001 as x then the quantity sold in 2002 will be equal to 4 by 3 into x right as per this statement. Now it's also mentioned that the quantity sold in 2002 is twice the quantity sold in 2000. So in 2000 it should be half of this right which will be 2 by 3 into x. Alright so we have the quantities and we have the prices. Now we just need to find the average across these three years. Alright so the average would be now what's the total amount spent in 2000 so that would be 2 by 3x into 1.26 right because 1.26 is the average price. Similarly in 2001 it, the total price would be the total amount spent would be x into 1 by 2 1.2 and in 2002 it would be 4 by 3x into 1.08 and the total quantity sold across these three years would be 2 by 3x plus x plus 4 by 3x. Now notice that over here you have x in every term right over here you have 1x in this term you have x and in this term you have x and that's the same case in the denominator as well. So all of these cancel out. So that's the beauty of this question. You don't need to know the exact value but because we're just finding the average we, these you can see that these x's cancel out and we're left with just simplifying this expression over here. Now let's go ahead and do that. So 1.26 divided by 3 that's equal to 0 0.42 right. Again notice that 1.26 is perfectly divisible by 3 you should be knowing the divisibility rules for 3. If you add this 1 plus 2 plus 6 that's equal to 9 right and 9 is divisible by 3 so 1.26 will be divisible by 3 and then you can just mentally divide it right. So you have 12 over here 12 by 3 is 4 so that's how you get your 4 over here and then 6 by 3 is 2. So you should be able to mentally divide this 1.26 divided by 3 is equal to 0 0.42. Similarly over here 1 plus 0 plus 8 that's 9 right. So 9 is divisible by 3 so 1.08 will be divisible by 3 and then over here you should be just mentally dividing it. You have 10 over here 10 by 3 gives you 3 and there is one reminder and 1 and 8 is 18. 18 by 3 gives you 6. So 1.08 divided by 3 that's equal to 0 0.36 and then you just need to simplify this 2 into 0 0.42 plus 1.2 plus 4 into 0 0.36 that gives you 3.48 and in the denominator you have 3 right because you have 1 over here and 2 by 3 plus 4 by 3 that's 6 by 3 which is 2. So 2 plus 1 that gives you 3. So the answer is 3.48 divided by 3 which is equal to 1.16 which is answer option C. Now do remember to like this video and subscribe to this channel. All the very best in your preparation.